Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about red wine, but in particular uh, chilled red wine. You may know or you may not know that you can actually have some red wines chilled. Um, so I'm going to be talking about Beaujolais today, which is a French red wine. Uh, it's kind of mid to south France, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not on the coast, uh, but it's kind of a fairly warmish climate. And they're known for their really light red wines. Um, and this is the one that I've got today. So as you'll see, Beaujolais Village. And I think a lot of people get a bit confused when it comes to French wines, um, because it tends to be obviously all in French on a label and people are a bit scared because they don't really know what all the different words mean um, and what the style of it is going to be like. So Beaujolais is known for being a really light red wine and you can actually have it chilled which is perfect for when it's sunny outside like today it's a gorgeous day and so when you want that kind of red wine that kind of juicy fruity red fruit kind of flavour you can have it but then if you have it chilled it's really nice in the sun. So Beaujolais is made from a grape called Gamay. The thing about the grape Gamay is that it's a really thin skinned grape. You don't get loads of colour and loads of tannins from the grape or from the skin so it just leaves you with this really fruity easy drinking red wine. Um, so this one I'll show you with the colour actually you'll see that sound <laughs> that sound is one of my favorite sounds in the world um but you'll see in the color it's really really light really kind of vibrant red and like ugh, absolutely gorgeous so because of this kind of light style that it has it's just really 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 fresh fruits so like fresh raspberries fresh strawberries all those kind of red fruits um and a tasting note that loads of people have about this wine is like bubble gum and like kind of like strawberry sweets, if that makes sense. But it's just, yeah, perfect in the sun. Oh, so good, and when it's chilled as well, it just keeps it really refreshing. So it's not a big heavy red wine to have with a steak or anything like that, but just on its own, yeah, keep it in the fridge for maybe like an hour or something, just to like bring it down a bit, and you just get all those fresh fruit flavours. And also as well, one of the reasons I really love it is it's pretty cheap. Like you get a bottle of Beaujolais for six, seven, eight pounds. I think this one I bought in Morrison's and it was six seventy five. So really, really, really good value. Um, and it's especially good if if you're not a fan of really heavy reds. So if you like white wine. Um, and you like that kind of really fresh, like, cr like crisp style of wine. This is a really nice uh, kind of red wine to start with because it's got all those fruit flavours, but it's kind of nice and light. Um, so I'd highly, highly recommend drinking this in the summer. Um, I am definitely going to be finishing this bottle, not on my own, <laughs> with my friends in the sun because, like I said, it's glorious outside and it'll be absolutely perfect. Um, so don't be scared if you see this, see Beaujolais, like I said, I know it's French and it can be a bit confusing, but if you see this on the label, it will be a light, fruity, easy drink of red wine. So a really, really good one to go for. Um, but that's it for today. Um, so there'll be more videos as ever on other different styles of wines, but yeah, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.